Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bullish Bears tutorial video. I'm your host Kevin and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the footprint chart on TradingView. Now I know right off the bat it does look a little overwhelming. What are all of these numbers? Or what do the black numbers mean? The red numbers? The green numbers? What about these dashes on the side? What about this delta, the total volume? Don't worry, we're going to cover everything in this video. I'm even going to show you how you could put the volume footprint right up here. Is it very super easily accessible? So you could switch between them back and forth like that. All right, before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that you do need the premium version of TradingView to get access to the footprint charts. And we see that right over here. Volume footprint is only checked off on the premium plan. All right, so let's get started with the basics. So right now we're looking at gold on both charts and the first chart we have is our footprint chart on the 15 minute and the second chart we have is 15 minute chart with regular candlesticks. That way you guys could sort of see what we're looking at here on the footprint with just the candlesticks as well. So what does the footprint show us? The first things first is it shows us the red is our sellers while the green is our buyers. The black area on these candles, that's our POC. A POC is a point of control. Now when we double click and go into the settings of our symbol, we could come down over here and we see that apply gradient to background. Now if we turn this off, what it's going to do is it's going to just strictly keep it red for sellers, green for buyers. If you do have the gradient to background on, it's going to sort of shade it where it's a darker red for heavier selling and a darker green for heavier buying. Now the value area, you could turn this on or off. This is just sort of giving us the area of the 70% of where the volume was traded on this candle. So you could also change that as well, the 70%. You can make it where you want to see 85% of volume traded then it's going to probably adjust it. We'll see if it adjusts it. See how much wider that range just became? Well, let's go back and change it to 70%. We don't really want anything higher than 70 for this kind of setting. The POC, that's the black level, that's the point of control where the most orders or the heaviest volume has been traded. Again, you could also turn this one on and off as well. What I would usually recommend to do is probably to at least change the color from black to maybe say like a yellow or a darkish yellow. And remember, you could also bring the transparent down so it's not so bright in your chart and you can do the same thing with the transparency to all of them so let's bring them all to about 60 for the backgrounds that way it's not that loud in our chart because remember guys a clean chart is a happy chart and when we have too much going on in our screen that leaves more room for error so we're going to bring all of these buy background, sell background, we're going to bring them down to about 60. And again, guys, this is a preference thing as well. If you want it up 70, if you want it at 80, or if you even want to keep it at 100, that is entirely up to you too. For this video, though, I'm going to be making some adjustments to the charts. That way you guys get an understanding of how it all works. Now there is something else that I'd like to cover. Now we see that we have our buyers as the green, our sellers on the ask, on the red, and then we have our delta and our total volume. So it really gives us a breakdown of the volume and the price action going on in this candle. Now if you didn't want to see the sellers and the buyers, what you could do is you could either set it to delta, where it does the math for you and it tells you were we aggressively selling off, did we have more negatives in the deltas or did we have more positives as well you could also look at it by total see if we have very strong volume coming in or if there's a good volume trying to hold us at a key level so it's really just a fantastic way to spot volume by price once price enters in these areas and that's what makes the volume footprint so special and so strong we could even see with the total up here we have our red dash on the side and a green dash on the side which means we had a sell imbalance and a buy imbalance very strong volume going on at that moment now that little dash we see on the side here, that's going to be our imbalance in our settings. Now right now our imbalance is set to 300%. I would recommend probably to keep this around 300%. That would give us a better idea of where the extra volume is really starting to step in. Highlighting is green and red, so you see we could turn it off. 
and it goes away. We could turn it on and they are back. Now stacked levels three. This is a very important and very interesting tool and I would say um, definitely worth adding to keep an eye on, especially if you guys are looking for imbalanced trades or fair value gaps. I'm going to try to find one. So we see right here, we have our shaded red area. If we turn our settings off, that area will no longer be there. So we'll go three stacked off, three stacked on. We see it adds the shaded area because there was a sell imbalance. And we see once the market stepped back in on gold, we had another very strong area of volume that gave us another sell imbalance that tried to give us a rejection. So this would have been a pretty nice scalp entry short, depending on where our entry was if we were looking to take that short as well. The last part of the settings that I want to cover, and probably the most important part, is going to be under volume footprint. We're going to go to row size. Right now it's on auto. Take a look at how the chart looks. Right now it is using about a, let's see, 2636. So 2636.80, so about 0.8 ticks per row. So what we're able to do is we're going to go to manual instead of auto we're able to adjust that. So right now I had it on five before, so it's going to bring it back down to five and it's going to give me more price levels. I could bring it down even less, let's say two, and it's going to give me even more as well. And it does give you a cleaner and a more in-depth look at the market. So now that we went over the basics, the settings, we're sort of getting a better understanding of what the volume footprint shows us. How can we use it in our trading? Well, I like to personally use for the type of footprint chart, I like to use either the delta or the buy and sell. Now, usually I like to use the delta because it gives me the math and the information I'm looking for on the buy and sell. So when we look at the buy and sell, we see right here we have a red 6 and we have a pot green 60. So the delta right there would be about 54. So if we turn this on to delta, we see that that is positive 54. So it does the math for me. I don't really have to be breaking it down each time. Now, the issue with this is it doesn't tell me the total volume traded on that particular time or with that price. So with that being said, if you did total, that would also give you a good idea to understand how strong is the price level that we're currently trading at. And this could be a huge help too to find levels of support and levels of resistance. As we see, let's come down over here. We see a lot of strong buying. This is our point of control, our yellow area now. And we see every time sellers tried to bring us lower, Posit um, I'm sorry, this isn't even a positive 110. This is total volume, 122, total volume 10. This is very low volume when price tries to move lower here on gold, and we would have been able to then take advantage of that and say, okay, I see sellers are failing to continue. We're at this area of support. Last time we were here, we had a lot of volume to help support us. So we might look to see if we could continue back long. And that long would have worked out till a new high of day hit around 2636. And we saw that a lot of volume came in at that point too, right before we reversed back lower. And again, we came into this area of support. We swept these lows over here, which we could show that right here. We swept these lows and we found a lot of support. The total volume again increases and our point of control starts to line up at this liquidity sweep. Now if we go to our settings again and we go to our delta, we could see that we had a negative 142 delta that failed to continue lower. Now when I see a positive or a negative delta that's much higher than any of the other deltas around it, this negative 142 before this, we have not had a strong negative or positive over 100 since 108 about this was an hour prior. So we had negative 108 at 2635. Then we had a negative 142 around 2629. And again, this was at a level of support because we found that area that we swept buyer stepped in the past few times here. So that's what we would look for to continue. This is the 15 minute chart. And again, 
want to show you guys this is what we're looking at on a regular candlestick chart as well. I do hope this video helped you guys. Definitely play around with it. See which one you favor more, and you could always go back and forth. You could go to total, you could go to delta, and don't forget too, guys, if you want to save, you could always save as, and you could save your settings template as something else. So if you want to save your footprint, let's say this one's footprint delta, you could then uh, save one as footprint total footprint delta and you could change all of the different settings save it and then you could go back to it as well the last thing i want to show you guys is the easiest way to get access to our footprint chart is to add it to our favorites so once you come over here and we're under bar style we're going to come down to where it says volume footprint then we're going to favorite it and what that's going to do is it's going to put the volume footprint right at the top bar for us so we could easily switch back and forth between regular candles and our footprint chart again i do hope this video helped guys mess around with the settings get used to it volume profile of volume footprint i should say is a fantastic tool really great understanding volume and order flow is the key to understanding how the market moves hit that like and subscribe button don't forget to join me live here monday and friday in the bullish bears youtube stream and join our community at bullishbears.com take care everybody happy trading